Hello, it's Deanie, and I am your friendly Dark Brotherhood member. And today I come to you with an original book tag, the Skyrim book tag. I'm going back to my roots of this channel where I originally started out just playing Skyrim and doing voiceover with book stuff, and I wanted to go back to my roots and do a Skyrim book tag, so I really hope you enjoy it. The Dragonborn can absorb souls, breathe fire, soothe wild beasts, and so much more. What character do you think would be capable of doing anything? So I think that Mark Watney from The Martian could pretty much do anything. Like, the dude was able to make potatoes grow on Mars. So, like, I think he is probably capable of anything because his brain is just, just so smart. He was able to survive on Mars. I would trust him with my life. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Lydia is sworn to carry your burdens. Who is the most annoying side character? So in The Descendant of the Crane, um, Hasina's adopted brother named Sayin, he kept on calling Hasina Milady like all the time. It's like you're you're her adopted brother. She treats you like a brother. And yet you just keep going, milady, milady. It's like, please, dear God. I, I know it's a very petty thing. But like, don't say milady when it's your sister or something. Like, you don't need to go milady. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Did someone steal your sweet roll? What is a delectable food from a book that you'd love to eat? So in the Three Dark Crown series, there are the naturalists who have like these powers where you can like make things grow really well or like ha have some sort of connection with animals. And so every couple of years they have like a naturalist festival or I think it's actually every year. And then they have just like all this food and it looks so delicious. Well, it sounds delicious because they're able to grow things so well and like get the best wildlife, get the best wild foods. I'm just like, ooh, all of it just sounds so good. I would love to have, like, I know we have like farmer's markets here, but it would just be so nice to have someone make it for me instead of making it for myself. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Oof, I used to be an adventurer, and then I took an arrow to the knee. What character do you think would be most likely to get randomly injured? And so I'm going to the Grisha trilogy and talking about Alina because I think she's just clumsy. She just comes off as a clumsy character, like she really wants to do something and do good, but then she would just mess up and probably hurt herself in the process. So her. Like she'd be like, light, and then like blind herself or just hurt others and just, I don't know. Or just, like, try to run into battle and then fall. Yeah. Probably her. Ugh. Your flesh is so... Ugh, distasteful. You have caught my attention, mortal. That is most unwise. Aedra versus Daedra. What is the most interesting force of good or evil or otherworldly power that you found in a book? So in the Diviners series, you have kind of all these different elements, these different types of evil. You have the old cult with Naughty John, who, who has this cult following and he lures people in and like kills them, but he does it in this way that is just so creepy. And then you also have the element of the fact that history is kind of its own force in the book because it's history where we're not learning from our past mistakes 
especially it's set in the United States. So you're not learning from all of the bad things that are in U.S.'s history and then we're repeating those same mistakes. So you get to see that really come to life in the book. And then you also have things like where your dreams are not even always safe. And it's based off of like different cultures, superstitions, or their like cultures in general. And I liked how you bring in all these different elements and they worked so great together. Tamriel is full of deceitful characters. Who is your favorite deceitful or suspicious character? So I'm not going to name a specific character, but I'm just going to suggest reading Warbreaker because it's a book where it's full of political intrigue and you have to guess throughout, is this the person I'm supposed to trust? But then you're like, oh wait, no, this person, but they're at odds at, with each other and wait, but I like this person now. And you just have to figure it out through the entire story. So I would definitely recommend if you like like deceitful characters or just like not knowing or just constantly questioning, definitely we read Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. The Lusty Argonian Maid is the hottest book ever written. What is your favorite romance in a book? And this could be like a romance book or just like the favorite romance that's in a book that isn't centered on the romance. So for me, it's Get a Life, Chloe Brown. So I love it as a romance book and I also just love the two characters, Red and Chloe, together because you have like, they're just both really sassy and really cheesy and they kind of like bicker, but then it's also just like full of tension and you're just like, ooh, it makes me feel so happy. The Stealth Archer is the most obvious and most practical character build you can do in Skyrim. What type of character do you think is the most useful and give an example? So I think like the lovable rogue is my favorite and also kind of really useful because they're very skilled. They tend to be very charming because they're lovable, but they also have like this high need for self uh, preservation. So I know if I'm going to like attach myself to anyone to like survive a situation, it's like we'll go with the rogue. I don't think they would really want me to tag along, but I'll tag along with them anyways. An example of this would be Sam Lloyd from the Diviners series. He is just so charming, but you can't always trust him, but you're like, you get it, you, you're you really good at what you do, and I'll just stick with you. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. Kajita's wares, if you have coin. There's more to the world than just humans. Elves, Khajiit, Argonians, and more. What is your favorite fantasy or sci-fi race? So for me, it's Gus from Saga. I don't know what his race is, but he's like a cute little seal guy. And he's just so, he's like the caretaker of the group. And he's just adorable. He has this cute little outfit. I don't know what he, like, is he the only one? Is he the only Gus? Does he have more Gus people? Like, I don't know, but I want there to be more Gus because Gus, if, especially if they're all like him, then they would just be like the best people ever. You just want to like be your friend, anything. You're just like, you are a lovable person, you know? You probably take care of everyone. The world would be better off with more Gus's. Glitches, dragons freaking out mid-air, giants sending you sky high. What is a surprisingly funny or unexpected thing you found in a book? So pretty much half of whatever happens in Saga and Assassination Classroom 
that's always funny or really unexpected and it's pretty much always highly inappropriate. So like, I can't show you the examples, but if you've read the book and I mentioned a dragon for Saga, you might know what I'm talking about. And then Assassination Classroom just has weird elements that are unexpected, mainly because they get randomly heartwarming. Like you have this octopus guy who will say like inappropriate things or just be kind of awkward, but then like he'll teach you a life lesson and you're like, I've learned something. And it just like warms your heart of how he interacts with the students because he genuinely cares, but he also wants to like destroy the world. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. And now it's time to tag people, and I'm very excited. So I'm going to tag Taya from D Jungle T, and she's pretty new, and she also really likes video games. So, Taya, do you, do you play Skyrim? Because I really hope you do. But if not, you should play Skyrim and also do this tag. And I'm also going to tag Paige from Paging Through, who also really likes video games. Then Andrea from Art Books and Other Things. Mike from Pints and Paperbacks, Michael Nip, Ramsey from Rajathon, Una and Crypto over at the Codex Cantina, Scott from Book Invasion, and the Booktube Goddess, who also did her own original tag recently based on 70s TV shows. So go check out all of those people. I really enjoy all of their content, and they're pretty awesome people just anyways. So that's it for the Skyrim book tag. I really hope you enjoyed this. I was really excited to make it, and thank you for watching.